Bajahau, this is Hello Filtai News. I am Jen, your host and founder of Hello Filtai News. For the headline of our news, we have KYEC or King Yuan Electronic Company, Jing Yuan Tianzi, with a very big problem and a lot of issues with their Filipino and Vietnamese workers. The first problem was about the quarantine facility. Ilang ano na, ilang gabi na kayong walang bed? Opo. Kasi sabi nung tiga Meko, tuwing gabi lang daw may nag nagkakaroon ng reklamo. Tuwing gabi kasi nga sa umaga, ayaw nila. Tumawag ako siya, sabi nila kay Ma'am LB. Ma'am LB naman, hindi rin automatic. The second problem was about the food supply and this recent problem and reports about the dormitories. One source said, that these dormitories have some problem with the fire exit. What will happen if, God forbid, there would be fire in their dormitories? Can you imagine these foreign workers inside an oven? Taiwan News reported on June. These were the first few mass swab testing in KYEC. But according to our KYEC employees, resource person there were already COVID-19 positive patients since the end of May. May 30, nang pumatok yung COVID, ang ginawa nila hinakot lahat nila yung third floor doon sa building A, mga lalaki. A KYEC positive patient in an hospital during an interview said, Shenghua broker did not do anything after knowing on the 30th of May that there are positive patients in their dormitory, they let these people go to the quarantine facilities while the rest of the employees were just working as normal. Sa third floor ng e-building, sinakay nila sa bus at nilagay sa kung saan saan facility para dun quarantine. Then after that, instead na paggawa ng measure na countermeasure yung company, yung broker, tuloy-tuloy lang ang pasok. Until on the first week of June, KYEC cannot hide what's happening inside the dormitories and thus there were clusters of COVID-19 positive patients within the Filipino workers. McConsular Page responded to our feedback regarding the concerns of the Filipino workers and said they cannot do anything more than talking to the labor office here in Taiwan since they are not the Philippine government and they're not in the Philippines so they cannot function as an executive. What they can do is to talk to the offices here in Taiwan and stress the concerns of the Filipino workers. Now, the concerns of our Filipino friends here in Taiwan is that who can help them? Who can improve their dormitories? Because not just KYEC has this problem. More and more Filipino workers responded to our posts on TikTok saying and claiming that they also have a big problems not only with their dormitory as well as their salaries, broker's fee, and so much more. Calling Taiwan government. What have you done to treat the Filipino workers and all the rest of the foreign workers here in your country? We call for the Taiwan government to answer these concerns. This is Jen from Hello Phil Thai News reporting.